Police have been working on a plan to change the way they respond to protests following controversial decisions such as the Prude case. Last year, they used plenty of pepper spray and force, and that sparked a lot of controversy. Christian Garzon joins us now. And Christian, last night, after the Prude decision, a demonstration took place with that incident, and the police chief did talk about that today. What'd she say? Yeah, Maureen, the police chief said last night voices were heard, and most importantly, nobody was hurt. She's saying a big help right now is the fact that RPD's been talking with demonstrators and organizers to get a feel for uh, what the needs are on both sides. She says the key takeaway is to listen to each other. I have to credit the protesters um, because it, we can't do this on our own. One of the biggest techniques, says Rochester Police Chief Cynthia Harriet Sullivan, was communicating with demonstrators and groups up front before the Prude decision was announced. We talked to uh, many of the protesters offline. We had different meetings and heard their uh, thoughts and concerns about what had happened before. Last year, pepper balls were deployed to disperse crowds. When it comes to using those measures, Sullivan says only she or the executive deputy chief can authorize that. She's hoping it doesn't have to get to that point. Those things would be a last resort, very, very last. When people are peacefully protesting and no laws are being violated, nobody's getting hurt, our response is minimal. When things did get tense between police and protesters on Child Street at certain points last evening, she said the officers used, quote, admirable restraint. They didn't let themselves get baited, and that really was the bottom line. That, to me, was a big success. Uh, I believe it helped quite a bit uh, here. Sullivan says she knows many are upset over the prude decision and, like Tuesday night, wants to continue to extend patience and grace. And we understand people uh, have a right to protest, uh, but if, if as long as they go like they did yesterday, I, I welcome it. And as you probably heard in there, the chief did say safety is paramount. Here uh, at the Liberty Pole, we have a demonstration here. A few dozen people uh, started to trickle in about 4 p.m. The police chief says she's hoping all demonstrations keep safety in mind going forward, both for themselves and everyone else. In Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam Marine, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. Reminder, you can get... All of the latest on the Prude case, including in-depth coverage of the grand jury decision in the Prude case, right over on our website, rochesterfirst.com.